And I'm Joe. And this and we're is Candidate at the movies. movies. And we are here to review probably in my book the movie of the damn year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything and everywhere all at once. It's directed by the Daniels. It stars Michelle Yo. It also features Ki Huang Kong. I, I studied that when I tried to get it right. Good job. And in better words, short round from Indiana Jones. Yeah. And it also stars Steph Stephanie Shee. Now, the basis of this movie, tell them a little bit about it, Joe. Well, the basis of this movie is, I would consider it a mashup of like a Kung Fu Hustle, yeah. a Matrix movie, and a love story all in one. Uh, we follow our main character who is just everything like literally everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, <laughs> I think it was an amazing movie. Um, I loved it. The cinematography was amazing. Oh, it was, it was beautiful to look yeah. at no matter what part of the movie they put you in. It was beautiful to look at. Yep. And if you go see it, just know you're going to eventually cry at some point. Like, I did. Yeah, yeah. I found myself with tears <laughs> in my eyes several times, sir. Um, it's okay. <laughs> All right, what about what, what you think? More than anything, I think this movie did bring together any issues you do have with talking to your parents about any simple thing going on in your life. If you are a parent, not being able to talk to your children, not being able to talk to your parents, and more than anything, just trying to deal with what you didn't feel like you achieved in life because that is probably one of the big stories I think throughout this movie Yeah, it's dealing with that weight of you feeling like you weren't enough or you didn't do enough in any situation you were in life which yeah. anybody can honestly understand that because we all have those moments whether we admit to them or we keep them deep down within mm -hmm. we think about any little moment that could have changed anything and to take it even deeper than that I feel like they did a bit of uh, mental health talking about, you know, split mm -hmm. personalities, yes. um, depression, mm -hmm. anxiety. That I mean, it was all underneath all of it. It's, it's going to take a while for me to unravel this movie, which is why I'm going to go see it again tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Like, honestly, just like Joe said, this movie was therapy for anybody that was going through any simple thing. If you're going through a death this was that therapy. If you're dealing with just a person that you lost connection with, whether it's a husband, a wife, or just even a friend, yeah. you're going to feel it throughout this whole movie. All in all, this movie is still funny. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> this movie is beyond hilarious. It's going to have moments where you're just going to be sitting back looking at everybody beside you like, what is going on? But you're there for the ride. What did I just see? Yeah. There was a lot of what did I just see? <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, it's also a love story. Like, yes. I mean, the the idea of people meant for each other, mm -hmm. being together even though they were unhappy with each other, and then trying to find that kindness, that peace, and then finally, like, sometimes you get too busy with stuff. Yeah, just and, life in general. Yeah, and yeah. and you neglect your your loved ones. Um, and there was a lot of this in this movie. Yes, also, man, like you were saying, parenting. Oh, man. Old school parents with the way that we was raised as a millennial. And that and just any little bit of change that is small in our world is huge in their world. And yeah. That played a huge part. Girl had a small tattoo. And it about wrecked the family to where she couldn't see them but once a year. Yeah. It, every actor in this movie did good. And it's people that like you would just be sitting like, I didn't know you had this in you just because you do like these little small, small roles. They had bigger roles and they did amazing. Yeah. These were some actors. These yeah. were some thespians. Definitely. <laughs> there are moments in this movie where you're just going to have literally two things in a desert. Mm -hmm. And it's going to probably bring out some of the biggest laughs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Once you see it, you'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, in all in all, I highly, highly recommend this movie. Yeah. What's your final grade for it, man? It's given A+. Plus. It's given A+. Plus. I'm going to put this right up there with Spider-Man No Way Home. This is an A double plus. A double plus. Word. This is something I know I'm pre-ordering. Mm-hmm. I'm getting it too. I'm getting this movie. Mm-hmm. I'm going to recommend it to anybody and everybody. Yep. Yes. And definitely, if you can, go see it in the movies. Unfortunately, yes. they don't have it in IMAX. I feel like we should protest that. For real. It, it's IMAX worthy. It's IMAX worthy. It's big popcorn yes. worthy. It's worth $15 at IMAX. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> well, with that being said, A plus, A double plus, mm-hmm. please click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Hit it. Yeah. Because we got a lot of stuff that comes up. You may not even know. It's All the there. time. Come <laughs> come check out the channel. We got hundreds. Anyway, <laughs> I've been Joe. I am Travis. And this is Candidate at the Movies. You all have a great day. Peace. Peace.